Okay guys, this is a really easy and a really fun activity and it centers around symmetry. Symmetry means the same on both sides. And here helping us, I have Miss Hall's class. Everybody say hello. Hello. <laughs> they are actually doing the symmetry project as we speak and I'm going to go ahead and explain how it works. First, like I said, symmetry means the same on both sides. So you would need to imagine a line going straight down the middle of this piece and you just have to look on one side and you'll see the exact same design on the other side. Every dot, dot to dot, shape to shape, color to color is the exact same on both sides. It's like a mirror image. It's really cool. So the way to make this piece, first you get your paper of course and you're going to have to write your name on your paper. Say that with me, class. Write your name on your paper. And your teacher's name as well. Okay, now, once you finish that, that's two pages, I didn't need two pages. You go ahead and you fold it in half, like so. See that, fold it in half. Make sure you crease it really good. Now that imaginary line I was talking about is not so imaginary. You can see it now. It's the fold, it's the crease. All right, now you get your paint. And I have those same three colors as before. I have a yellow, somebody please pass me a blue, thank you. And somebody please pass me a red. Thank you for the red. These are very important colors. We've worked with them before. They're called primary colors. And with these three colors, you can make any other color you want. Yes, yes. So if you only had a little money, only money for three colors, and you go to the art store, you can say, um, I think I'm gonna get yellow, red, and blue. Because the, those colors, with those colors, I can make any other color I want. Okay, back to the symmetry piece. Let's start with a little bit of red. Now what I want you to notice is that I'm only going to put paint on one side of the paper. Why am I only putting paint on one side? Well, without this little trick that I'm going to show you, it's going to be kind of hard to get it exactly the same on both sides. Here's the trick. That's okay, you just keep on going. We have baby wipes and we'll clean that up when you're finished. Fold it over like this once you put the dots. And see this, oh, I had paint on my hands. That's okay. Fold it over, 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 rub, 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 rub. And when you open it up, it's the same on both sides. That's the trick. You don't have to actually get a paintbrush and paint the same dot, the same shape on both sides. You got it, that's perfect. What you have to do is just work on one side. So let's work on the other side. Now you don't have to put two dots on both sides. Like you saw, we just folded the paper and it actually made the symmetry all by itself, okay? So all we're doing is working on one side. Sure, grab the red. And then we're going to fold it over again. Rub, 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 rub. Now we don't have to rub very hard. We just have to rub well enough to get the paint on both sides. How cool is that? Now I need yellow. Can somebody please pass me the yellow? Thank you very much. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow on here and then I'm going to let well, I could probably show a couple of the other students' papers. Show you what they're doing. That sounds good. Just a few. All right. Okay, be there in just a second. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. rub, rub. And then open it up. Ta-da! Now, does it look like anything? No, it really doesn't have to. It's called abstract art. It still is beautiful, but it doesn't have to look like anything that you recognize, like a tree or a house or anything like that. It's just a beautiful painting. So, that's what we're doing today. It's called symmetry. And what does symmetry mean, class? Yeah, 
the same on both sides. Excellent. Now I want you guys to go and have fun.